Hello and welcome to the NPTEL course on an introduction to programming through C++. I am Abhiram Ranade and today's lecture is on classes and the reading material for this is chapter 18 of the textbook. So here are the main recommendations from the previous lectures. First use a struct to hold information relate, related to each entity, entity that your program deals with. Then define member functions corresponding to actions or operations associated with the entity. The main theme of this chapter is to take this idea further in the following sense. Okay. So the goal is to build something like a software component around a struct. Now software components are useful for building large software systems just as hardware components are useful for building large hardware systems. Okay. And a software component must be convenient to use and also safe exactly in the sense that hardware components are uh, convenient and safe. So for example, they should software components should help prevent uh, programming errors. Okay. So we have been talking about this theme for some time now. So let us just clarify this a little bit more. Okay. So things that you buy from the market are packaged and made safe to use. Fridge, television are some of these things. So for example, there is no danger of getting an electrical shock. A control panel is provided on the device. A user does not have to change the capacitor value somewhere to change the channels on a television. The analogous idea for software is that the make the functionality associated with a struct available to the user only through member functions. So this is kind of analogous of the control panel and do not allow the user to directly access the data members inside a struct. Just as a user is not allowed to touch the circuitry inside a television. Okay. And in some sense, the user has no business looking inside, right? that is the attitude, that is the, that's the view that is taken or the user does not want to know what is going on inside just to keep keep his or her headache low and uh, I mean keep keep separation of concerns. Okay. The user has lots of things other things to worry about. Okay. So another idea is that if you build a better fridge, you often keep the control panel the same as the previous model. The user does not need to relearn how to use the new fridge. If you build a better version of the struct, but if you keep the member function signatures the same, then the program that uses the struct does not have to change. Okay? So these are the kinds of things that member functions and this kind of discipline will allow us to accomplish. So, the modern version of a struct can behave like a packaged component and the designer of the struct provides the member functions. Actually the designer of the struct can do lots of things. Okay? So for example, if I have a ordinary variable, lots of things sort of there are lots of standard operations that can be performed on variables. To begin with, I may have to create that variable. So there is the creation of the object. Okay. Then I may want to assign, I may want to pass the object to a function, I may want to pass the struct or object or whatever uh, back from a function, I want to return it as a result. And we know that when control leaves a scope, the variables which have been created inside uh, in the activation frame have to be destroyed. So the modern version of a struct allows you to customize these operations however you want. Okay? And that gives the designer a lot of freedom and uh, the freedom can be used to do quite some imaginative things. Now 
in this course we are not going to talk about all these things at least not immediately. We are going to talk about just the creation in today's lecture we are going to say how the designer can decides what happens during creation. Okay. And the idea is that once structs are designed in this manner using them becomes convenient and less error prone. So we have been we have been talking about all these things for some time now but in some sense they are going to come to fruition in this lecture. And structs which are endowed with such features okay, are also called objects. So I have been using the term objects but the technical meaning is an object is something is a struct or it is a variable created from a struct but which can have all such features. All right, so here is an outline of this lecture. I am going to talk about something called constructors, I am going to talk about operator overloading, I am going to talk about access control, then I am going to talk about classes and then I am going to talk about some special classes for graphics and input and output. So what have we discussed so far in this segment? We have said that we would like to build safe and convenient software components. Safe means less likelihood of errors. Okay. Basically this means think through how the component is going to be used and provide a set of corresponding member functions. And we will see that we can even disallow direct access to members and the idea behind this is that usually such access is likely to be error prone. We want our objects to be convenient in the following sense that they make it easy to think about parts of the program. Okay. So member functions should provide a very clear interface okay. and the users of the components should not worry about how the functionality is implemented. Okay. So they don't, the, the component should be designed so that they do not need to look inside. Okay. So there should be very, very nicely designed control panels so to say. And I should say that uh, these are guidelines and this is how we would like software to be designed. But sometimes it does not work that way and that is okay once in a while provided you have good reasons. Okay. All right. So next we will discuss constructors but before that let us take a short break.